Alrighty, back again for another part here in this game. God, I'm excited. And I like that our render changes based on our outfit. That's cool. I'm wondering what, like, alternate costumes in shit the game will have. Man, I am <laughs> really gonna have to give some other characters some love here. This'll help me break new boundaries. Carpe diem, dude, seize the day. Ooh, nice. Okay, so that's how I can get new weapons. I, dude, I'm like, I'm gonna immediately equip Shaz with that Venom Edge. Because doing some poison damage on top of my damage I'm currently doing would be, like, astronomically good. Uh, okay. Ooh. S ranks seem really easy to come by. Don't know. I mean, still early game, chapter one here, but we should be safe here for the time being. That wasn't bad. I'm well acquainted with Professor Yuritsa, but the rest of you are this year's fresh-faced golden deer, I presume. Nothing but the freshest. Also, is it just me, or are you wearing our uniform? And how do you know Professor Yuritsa? Do you go to the officers' academy? She's one of last year's students. A black eagle. Which would make you our senior? Our senpai! Then what were you doing here in a bandit fortress? Well, I was just on the verge of graduation last year when I was kidnapped by the strangest people. In truth, I thought I'd never breathe fresh air again. Thank you for coming when you did. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Monica Von Ox, eldest daughter of the Empire's Baron Ox. Hmm, yes. I think I understand. This all began when the Knights lost sight of the bandits and you gave chase. Afterward, you entered a suspicious fortress and rescued a missing student. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. I'll be sure to smooth things over for you once we're back. Sounds good. But, uh, why are you even here, Alois? That's a good point. I didn't even think about that. I just saw Alois and I was like, yeah, that makes sense. anything different? Not that I'm trying to lay blame at your feet. I know you were following Professor Yuritsa's lead, so I think everyone involved can head home knowing they did just swell. For as you know, all swell that ends swell. Alois, you adorable, adorable boy, you. Still, I find this a rather grave turn of events. Dude, an unnamed, unmasked, er, an unnamed, faceless, the unnamed, faceless the Knight of Saros is actually voice acted. Hmm? I never said I was kidnapped by bandits. You... you didn't? Now that you mention it, some of the folks in that fortress weren't exactly dressed in the typical bandit fineries. What if we're dealing with a way savvier organization than we think, and the bandits just answer to them? Uh. Yeah, there was one real piece of work, Kranya, I think, who managed to escape. I've seen all kinds of people as a mercenary, and she was definitely not your everyday bandit. You're on the right path. Perhaps I should just tell you who kidnapped me, seeing as I already know. Uh, uh... What? Why didn't you mention this earlier? Everyone was busy speculating, so it was difficult to cut in. What do you know, child? Out with it. Well, the one who kidnapped me was Tomas the Librarian. Holy shit, dude. Just really raw dogging us with the three houses spoilers. He isn't the simple scholar you think he is. Tomas? Impossible. But Tomas has been at Garrick Mach even longer than I have. I don't want to believe it, but based on what you say, we've no choice but to investigate. But Sir Alois... Be on guard. 
If Tomas is in league with Kranya, he is dangerous. Very well. I'm like texting one of my other Fire Emblem buddies, not the one I mentioned in the last video, not the not the assholeish one, but another cool one of my Fire Emblem buddies. I'm like texting him like, holy shit, dude. This story is like going completely off the rails from what Three Houses did. So what do you make of this Kranya? Why do you think she was at the fortress? You seemed preoccupied with her during the battle. Is she a friend of yours? Sadly, I wouldn't know. My memory is but a shadow at this point. Gone! Vanished! Lost! I remember meeting you. But before that, nothing at all. And yet... The moment I saw her, I was struck with the most inexplicable feeling. Pants got a little tight. I get you, dude. I couldn't tell you if it was revulsion or affection. It was simply pure emotion. And here I thought I had it tough. Are you worried about me? How adorable. Oh, but I do love that about you. Arval coming on to me pretty strong, like, hey man, if I get the chance to romance the voice in my head, I might, but I already do have best girl picked, if I can figure out how the fuck to recruit people in this. They ought to end his life on the spot. The churl's enmity towards the church is plain for all to see. All the more reason to keep him alive and question him. You really think he's working alone? This all comes from that Monica girl we rescued, right? Still, I guess if Lady Rhea believes her. So who is this Tomas guy anyway? You say he works in the library? Yes, and he's always bent over backward to help me find whatever book I'm searching for. He's a kind man. And the last person you'd ever expect to stab you in the back. Well, you won't make it too far as an evildoer if you can't pull the wool over people's eyes. I can't believe someone that nasty was working right here under our noses. But wait, what if the dining hall lady is a traitor too? I'll never be able to ask for seconds again. <laughs> Poor Raphael. As if anything would stop you from asking for seconds. Besides, what kind of villain sets their sights on someone's lunch? People with poison? I think we can give the poor dining hall lady the benefit of the doubt, right? <laughs> I did I didn't think this would be an actual decision of mine. I know they're trustworthy, so I'm gonna trust them. Trust the hand that feeds us, we can trust nothing. Exactly. If we start looking at everyone with suspicion, we may as well pack up and go our separate ways now. I'd really like to stop talking about the dining hall lady now, please. So, is it safe to assume Tomas hired the bandits that tried to kill us? No one has proven he was the mastermind behind it all, but there is no doubt he was involved. You're awfully quiet, Marianne. Is everything okay? She was probably just shy, oh, damn. It's just... <laughs> I kind of hate that when like someone's obviously trying to like like they have a lot on their mind and then someone else is like hey you haven't said anything talk and draws all the fucking attention to the one person who obviously didn't want it are they ready at the gates yes sir every exit is covered well well it sounds like Tomas has returned I don't know why I know this, but you need to get out there, and quickly. I think he's here. I'll be back. But let's do it together. Wait, what are we doing? That seems smarter to me to at least give a hint to what I'm doing before just running off without saying anything. There he is! <laughs> That man down there. Lady Rhea wants to speak with you. I suggest you accept. Hmm. 
This doddering persona of mine will benefit me no further. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Familiar, right? Such hubris for mere vermin. You will pay for this. I just keep getting connected to and disconnected so from the Wi-Fi. What he did was just like Prologue: The Battle for the Locket. Upon his return to Garrig Mach. The humble Tomas shapeships and flees, and not even the knights of Ceres's most concerted efforts can track down the erstwhile librarian. Though Claude is quite intrigued by the dark developments at his school, an urgent message soon arrives from House Goneril at the eastern edge of the Lester Alliance. Well, that was certainly an unexpected conclusion to the whole Tomas saga. Thanks to his shape-shifting ability, he slipped free of the knights and escaped. Shape-shifting? Yes, that's what I said. Also, I know what you want to say next. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. His powers are just like the ones you gave me. Are you in league with him, Arval? Where do these powers come from? If I am in league with him, question. no one has informed me. All I have is you, my dear partner in destiny. Still, I saw what you saw. Clearly, we don't have a monopoly on shapeshifting. Now that everyone knows about Tomas, some of them must have connected the dots back to me. At least they've had the grace to keep it to themselves. None of them have seen you it's transform. Because they trust you. Hold on, someone's coming. Hey there. Got a second? Something wrong? There's no nice way to dance around this. Are you sure you don't know, Tomas? I already told you I don't. Okay, okay. It's not like I suspect you or anything. But it does make me wonder where you're from, original. Who knows? Maybe there's some mysterious clan out there with shape-shifting powers. And maybe they banished you when you were little and you don't remember it. It's possible, right? I well, my early years are okay, so crazy. from a gameplay standpoint, yes, they have seen me use my awakening mode, but every character has awakening mode in this game, for one, and for two, story-wise, none of them have seen me transform yet. Guess I got a little ahead of myself. Maybe I was just excited to meet a kindred spirit. Because story-wise, we've only transformed in front of Byleth. There you are, Claude. You must come quickly. We have an urgent message from House Goneril. <coughs> sure thing. Why don't you tag along? I'm not sure what. Lauren just Goneril fucking wants. leaves. It can't be good. I can't believe the Almiran army is invading. And Damn. the biggest army since Fodlin's locket was completed. My brother's preparing to intercept them, but he's outnumbered big time and needs all the help he can get. House Regan stands ready. But we can't expect my grandfather to lead an army, so I guess it falls to me. I wish I knew what the other Alliance lords will do, but there's no time to call a round table. I have no doubt my father has already leapt into action. Though I will likely be the one who ends up on the front lines. 
Lorenz, I will have House you killed. Delia is close, so I like to think we've already sent reinforcements. Sadly, I expect little help to come from my adoptive father. I'm sorry. That's fine. I actually have a different favor to ask Margrave Edmund, but we can chat about it later. I don't understand the reason for this sudden act of aggression. If this really is the biggest army since Fodlin's Locket was completed, that's a century's worth of battles. Maybe the Almirans figured it's now or never, since the Empire and Kingdom are wrapped up in their own problems. I mean, we're pretty much the only students left around here now. Yeah, I heard something about a coup in Enbar and a revolt in Ferdiad. Both serious problems Jeez. that don't directly affect the Alliance. That's kind of interesting, because those are like... Even if word of troubles especially the Enbar the thing was something you played through war. in Three Houses. You led the uh, the charge against that revolt. Which seems unlikely. That's cool. So we're seeing like what the other students got to do capitals, while Byleth was being being in the spotlight. Do you truly think so? Uh, Let me go with you. Maybe I can help. Hey, we need every sword hand we can get. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Fucking Owain slashes King. through the multiverse and is like, I'm a knight of My sword hand beckons me! The bulk of the knights were dispatched earlier to track down Tomas. And the rest of us fanned out to the kingdom and imperial capitals. She was almost the first yeah, character I, I ever romanced in this game. Already. In uh, three yeah, houses, I should say. The church may not be able to lend you an army, but they won't turn a blind eye. I'm here because I'm the best woman for the job. My arrows will make short work of Almiran wyvern riders. I'm actually excited so to play Shamir since she's a higher class archer. archer she'll have a different move set than Claude. No I'll be counting on you as well. It certainly sounds more interesting than staying here and twiddling our thumbs. And besides, who knows what will become of the Academy in the meantime. Sure thing. I'm in. He honestly sounds like- Shez honestly sounds like uh, Kanji Tatsumi from Persona 4. Wonder if they share a voice actor. Oh cool, so we have camp now. Cool, cool. Oh boy. We've got all kinds of emergencies breaking out across Foldland at the same time. And while I think it's just coincidence, it makes me a little uneasy about the future. Uneasy, huh? Sympathize. Absolutely. Yeah, I feel things aren't going to be magically resolved just because we managed to fend off of Elmira. We're on the same page there for sure. I just hope this pinned my stomach for some I and not from an ill omen of the future. Can't help but feel like events are coming in a massive impact on Foldland. Still, if I'm worried the others probably are as well, you mind talking to them? You're our leader, Claude. You should be, you know what? I'll do it because you asked me to, Almighty Claude. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. That can't be. Marianne's kinda. I like her more than a certain other character, but Marianne's I'm kinda eh on. Neutral. I don't despise her, but I'm not particularly fond of her. You're my brother for a bit, but here I am. So much for all the fun I was gonna have at school. Hey. Mm-hmm. Nothing but crying and laughing and dancing with friends I need. Oh. Alliance General, you're not important. You don't have a name. Why, Cynthia? I did not mean to get this close to you. Sorry. The Elmira Army breaks through the thrill, which granted is unlikely. Oh. I wonder if Claude really appreciates the seriousness of the situation. Let's see. <laughs> the way I was just trying to put on a brave face for the troops. If he's running around panicking, you think I'm going to ask to his name? Perhaps I should attempt to view the man in a more optimistic light. I think we'll soon learn Claude has what it takes to assume the mantle of leadership. I feel like it's going to be like in Three Houses where everyone is just completely hopeless without the player character. I'm only talking to you because I'm forced to, Lawrence. Wait, I don't care Speaking about what you up, have to huh? say. Are you, enough to go? Are you certain you wish to remain this? Oh, I'm raring to go. Fascinating. 
Ah, uh, dude, I'm gonna need to overdo it just to compensate for your useless ass. Jesus, there's like a congregation of golden deer over here. Aww. Oh, hey. Ignatz is kind of nice. I gotta do this. Love Raphael. What to do? No, can you please ask me to know? I'll give advice. Let's see. If things get too rough, I'm not sure you're cheating. The thing about, okay, the thing about Leone, so far she's been written kind of nice. Like, she's, you know, now that Gerald's not in the situation, she's being written much better. Like, she has more of her own personality. I can completely understand people hating Leone in Three Houses. How's that? Dude, I'm so ready. There's literally nothing else for me to do at camp. We're still in the early game, but I'm so ready for it. I gave you an order, Nadir. <laughs> Who the fuck are these yes, people? Sir. You sure did. Then explain why we remain on this side of the mountain, staring at that wretched fortress! Did I not command you to gather enough soldiers to push through? Yes, this outfit kind of reminds me of Bylas Enlightened One outfit. Male Bylas, at least. But the enemy commander Holst is a born leader, and his men are bound to fight like demons. Yeah, dude, Holst is badass for I'm someone so who never actually physically appeared in Three Houses. Cowardly savage is a superior commander to me, the next king of Almira. Oh boy, I already hate you for the same reason I hate Lorenz. That storming a fortress tends to be one of those time-consuming sort of things. I like Nader and his the way he talks. I believe Nader did appear in Three Houses in a side quest or not side quest, but a paralogue. I know I recognize the name and the face. But this Shahid is pretty, pretty new and annoying. I admire that optimism, but. As I recall, the king instructed us not to attack yet. That was before the situation changed. Father will hold me in great esteem for this. Mark my words. Also, Khalid has been absent for a good while now. And I wager he's plotting some mischief. But once I've conquered Fodlin... So I bet Khalid will become our ally. Takes, the throne will be mine. Prince Shahid! Enemy reinforcements also, can we mint something I just realized? What? Tomes are in this game. No Tomes just didn't exist in Three Houses because magic was something they had, they knew how to do innately. But in this, they use tomes for magic, which I get is so they have weapons instead of just like. It, it's hard for them to upgrade weaponry and shit. God. Holt looks. Claude Von Regan. So much like, uh. We're here to help you hold the lock. Why can I not? Balthus. He looks a lot like Balthus. But with pink hair. Pink Super Saiyan Rose Goku black hair. With a Vegeta Widow's Peak. Also, I can't express my gratitude enough. At seeing so many young people offering to serve. Whoa! Look at the muscles on you! Your regiment must be epic! Oh, I'm Raphael Kirsten, by the way. Nice to meet you, Holst. Do not address him so casually, you oaf. This is General Holst, one of the Alliance's finest and bravest warriors. Well met, General. My father sends his warmest regards. So Got a we're Lord. gonna fight alongside a famous general? <laughs> no pressure there. Yes, I, I know when I'm out of my league, and I am clearly way out on this one. Maybe I should go back to the monastery. Ignatz. And I as well. Marianne, you too. Enough. Grow a backbone. There you go. Lysithia, put them in their fucking place. Our 
enemies just over there. Are you gonna hide like field mice, or will you find some courage and fight? Yeah, tear into a Lysithia. My weapon stands ready. I want to see what Holst here is truly capable of. I also want to play as Holst. <laughs> Your classmates are a real colorful bunch, Hilda. I like them. Thanks, Holst. But if we're all done catching up, we might want to focus on the enemy army that's headed right for us. Oh, Hilda, don't worry. Oh, so they we got are. this. The sight of your forces clearly lit a fire beneath them. Fortunately, the locket is impregnable, which they'll soon discover the hard way. Good luck, all. I'm counting on you. To battle! I like Holst a lot so far. I like his cool confidence. Yes, that makes sense. Oh, okay, so now I can do it. Uh, you just place a light blue grid will we be available to give orders to. Okay, well, I don't have any Pegasus Knights, so... Oh, I see, I see what it's saying. Okay, so... We're gonna... List? Nope, that's the wrong button. Although I will replace Ignatz with... Huh. How do I want to do this? Don't want to replace Claude, he's important. I think I'll have Lysithia no replace Hilda. Definitely replacing Lorenz with... Ah... It would be good to have Leone playable here. Alright. Should be able to do it. Okay. Convoy. Yeah, I will be using the Venom Edge. I feel like Poison is going to be insanely useful throughout this game. I can have second... Oh, Leather Shield. Ah! Shez doesn't really need much of a shield. He's kind of got... He's got his defensive capabilities. However, I'm going to give that to Lysithia because she's not designed to take, take a beating. I'm an idiot. There we go. Protect Lysithia some more. Uh, and fight. Should be able to do this. This looks fun. Immediately gonna switch off. Ooh, damn, I already like the menacing purple aura. Light magic and HP absorption. Dark magic and spellbound. Uh, spell will move slowly and have reduced defense. Rather more guarding will not... Okay, I'm definitely gonna like Lysithia then because she's designed to do both. Everyone buckle up. This stronghold is crucial to our defenses and we can't let it fall. Oh god, I have a good feeling about playing Lysithia. Even if she has like no combo strings right now. Okay, no Sparatu, that'd be good. Cool, cool. Uh... Okay, so they do gain experience when I'm not playing as them. That's kinda awesome. Okay, let's try Miasma. Oh, cool. So it applies, uh, uh, spellbound status. Okay, so that's that. That's her. Second one feels the same as the third one. That's different. Okay, so maybe my third one. There we go. Okay. I see. Since the central approach is crawling with enemy soldiers, we'll start by her, her attack speed is a little unfortunate, but like the drawbridges here can only be lowered. Gameplay wise, she's she's doing good. Sure it's safe by taking any strongholds in the vicinity. Can I ask? Uh, so I'm gonna have them do 
Oh, I can't assign them to hit there yet, can I? Then I will have... I'll have them all do that, and I'll figure out what the fuck's going on with the other one. We don't have any flying units, so that better not be the issue. Cool. Can't wait for it become a Grimmery. So what exactly is physically blocking me this way? The drawbridge. I'm an idiot. Okay. Learning my way around the game, guys. Hey there. I'm souring on this whole affair, but if it's a fight you want, I'm your man. If you're looking for a fight, you found one. Sounds like Nadir could probably be coaxed off the battlefield. I mean, unless you really want to have a crack at him. I kind of want to have a crack at him, Claude. <laughs> kind of want to fight well, that boy. It isn't Nadir the unstoppable. Are you ready to settle the score? Cool, good for Hilda. Not for really, not actually. I can probably uh, menu system. I, I get it. Thanks, game. Thanks. Uh, settings. Level up windows. Uh, all off. There we go. That'll stop breaking the flow at least a little bit. I gotta figure out why the fuck we can't get up there if all the if all the drawbridges are down. I want to play Shamir. Well, that's definitely working. Keep it up. Now is the time to stand our ground. Ooh, I'm about to see what her special move be. Cool. Cool, cool. Learning what I'm doing. No Sparatu, I'd like to heal. Thank you. Oh, Holst uses a sword? He does not look like someone who'd be using a sword. Also, what the fuck is going on with Leone right now? Forgot she's not a class that has access to cavalry yet. That's a problem. Alright. We'll bring in Claude. Where the fuck is everyone? Guys, I am so freaking lost. This battle's a good bit bigger. Good bit bigger than the old one. Ooh, this is a nice remix of, uh... Uh... Cannot remember the name of... The song. Edge of Dawn, that's what it is. This is a nice remix of Age of Dawn. Edge of Dawn, if I'm hearing it right course it's very possible that I have the audio very low so my mic doesn't pick up on the game audio this sounds like a cool remix of Edge of Dawn oh no I was definitely paying attention too I handled him just fine. Take a breather. If you keep holding back to this, you'll have to retire that overblown title of yours. I'm the dare the undefeated, because I know when it's smart to run. There's no flying units. Um, I'm so fucking confused. There's no enemies here. Damn it. Alright, maybe they understand something I don't.
fucking let's go that way. I know what I'm doing, guys. I did. I have emphasized this is a completely blind playthrough. If it seems like I don't know what I'm doing, that is because I don't. We also need Le Oni to heal. Leoni, to just guard him. He'll heal while doing so. Kind of miss Chez's like outfit. Because his mercenary outfit looks a lot nicer than this. Am I a moron or something? Guys, I think I'm actually a fucking moron. Because uh, I I thought it said I had to capture those bases in order to lower the drawbridges. I didn't realize I just had to fucking Fortnite the drawbridges. Thought, uh, thought it would require a little bit different there. I love whatever Lysithia's got going on with this aura thing. This looks fucking cool. <coughs> God. So far, very pleased with this. Takes the things that were great about, like, Fire Emblem Warriors and Hyrule Warriors 1, and then is like, it uh, keeps the good improvements of Age of Calamity and doesn't suffer from the shitty ideas that Age of Calamity had. No, Miasma. Did it? I don't know if it casted. Die, guy. Damn it. So yeah, Lysithia's attack speed isn't very good, and I only have a couple combo strings. But that's not bad. I think I'll have Shez, uh, or me rather, attack the key holder. Are you holding our troops back? Deploy them now! All of them! Gonna let them all do their thing. Gonna desperately try to get to that messenger. <laughs> but if I don't get to him, I'm honestly not too worried about it, because, like, what's. Why not just have more people to kill? Another line people could weaponize against me if I had enemies. But it's a good thing I despise being around people. Yeah, there's no way I could stop that messenger. There we are, dude. Lysithia is a pretty heavy magic hitter. Good, she leveled up. That's What is that doing? It's gotta be doing something. Uh, let's command somebody to... Oh, Chez is done killing him. I'll just help Chez. Although, while I'm at it, I will command Claude to go get the treasure. Wherever the fuck it went. There it is. All right. And by the time Claude gets there, the soldier should be dead. Yeah. I've ran out of commentary, can't you tell? Wish I knew what her passive ability is doing. Oh, no, okay, I see what it does. Anyone in the spellbound effect, it draws them in. I ran out of juice for it, but... Okay, so that's what it does. That's pretty neat. And then I will just switch to Claude. No problem, my turn. No problem, I got it. <clears throat> uh, say all out offensive on these ones. Which one's which one's the leader? You know what? All out offensive. Let's don't care who's the leader. They're all gonna die. Motherfucker, lock onto the one that's closer to you. Yeah. 
Go, Claude, go! Kill them all! Make them watch as you eat their families! Damn, Claude's good! <laughs> So yeah, I gotta say, as the, how this stacks up versus like the other Nintendo crossover warriors, this one's gotta be like. So far, I'd still put it like right below Hyrule Warriors one, but it's still pretty damn good. Oh, fucking sweet! I'll go in front. Watch closely. So I should be able to just, like, force pull them in. Okay, cool. So that's how it works. I like it. And I can just, well, if I had another one in, I could pull them in for more hurdies. That actually fixes, because I was saying, it's weird how her moveset pushes enemies away, even though she has only mid-ranged spells. But she has something to accommodate for the fact that she's constantly pushing enemies away from her. She can just yoink them right back. Okay, yeah, I'm liking Lysithia now that I figured out her whole thing. Oh boy, you are going to fail. What's this? Okay. It's more juice. Learn something new every day. This video is probably going to turn out, yeah, slightly longer than the others. But that's that's okay. Shahid. You stand in the presence of Shahid the Great, next king of Almira. The Great is such a generic title for, like, pissy, weepy babies. No time to slow down. Damn it! <laughs> so perfect guarding's definitely a thing. Cool, I'm liking that. My crest cancer makes me extremely powerful. You look just like my horror of a little brother. Then for your brother's sake and my own, it's time to put you in your place. That's true, Claude is like the perfect guy to take out Shahid. I'm still not going to like play as Claude in this, because I really want to give Lysithia some time in the sun. But man, Claude is perfect to take this guy out. I know I've seen some of her later gameplay, like when she's higher classes and stuff, and it gets wild. Then again, Lysithia is like the ultimate magic character in Three Houses, so I'm not surprised her magic is through the fucking roof. I want to get some Awakening Juice, but I'm probably not going to uh, get enough Awakening Juice in time to see what her Awakening's like. But that's okay. Cool. Very cool. I want to see, like, just Claude fire an arrow and it stick him straight in the forehead. Almost got to see what I wanted. <laughs> I would make my escape if I were you. You're not gonna like what comes next. You swine. Turn that loathsome face from my sight. In every way, you remind me of my wretch of a brother. I will be the end of you one day. I promise you that. <sighs> Shouldn't we go after him? Nah, 
At the end of the day, he's still royalty. The last thing we need is some army tromping in here trying to avenge him, you know? Smart, smart. I would have just straight up fucking murdered him. I'm glad I have a voice of reason next to me. I'm glad I have a Robin. Nice, fruit of life. I need to use those stat boosting items. I'm probably gonna give them all to Shez, but still. Gotta keep aiming high. Nice. Nice, nice. Also nice. So even characters who weren't assigned to your front lines, or like as playable, will still be able to level up. That's cool. Huge improvement over Hyrule Warriors 1. I must make more progress. Damn, Lysithia, you are blasting through it. I think I'm gonna try to have her class up as soon as possible. Jesus! Not gonna forget this. Can't wait to see it in action. I have this talent hidden away. Cool. I had this power within me all the while. This is suitable. Fuck you, Lord. This will come in handy. Cool, cool. That's a lot of stuff. Alrighty. I do think that'll be the end of this video because this is getting to be a long one. I hope you all enjoyed this and will stick around to see more. See you guys later.